Hey guys, Dan at BinaryWonder.com. Um, coming to you today with a pretty cool project. This is an Arduino based project, but not just any Arduino. Um, this is an Arduino Due, which um, if you're not familiar with it, it's got an ARM based microprocessor, some extended RAM and ROM. I've also um, added some hardware um, additions to this, to the SPI connection, I've got a 16 gig micro SD card coming through a micro SD card sled. And um, what we're going to do with this today is there are some developers who have ported CPM, which is the operating system many used in the late 70s and early 80s, command line. Um, they've ported it from what you would typically see as maybe a native Z80 machine to this ARM-based um, uh, uh, Arduino. So it's essentially CPM Duino. And I will include links to the developers' websites um, in this video or below this video. And what we're going to do with this today is we're going to boot up into a um, CPM Arduino command line. Uh, environments and what you can do then is you can run CPM software that you might have from the 70s um, and what I've got here is Microsoft basic loaded on here I've got the basic code for command line Star Trek so we will run that through um, Microsoft basic so if you if anybody has played with um, command line Star Trek in any form um, I think you'll remember what it what it was I think the first time I played it was on a sorcerer Exidy computer in the 80s um, uh, but this is going to be a really cool project. I think you guys will enjoy it. Okay, guys, we've got um, the Arduino Due um, connected um, via USB to my Windows 10 machine that you see here. Um, and if you ever wonder what um, uh, COM port or serial port it's going to be in, since it's obviously USB, it's going to be serial. Um, that it's connected to you in Windows 10, you can go to um, Computer Management, Device Manager, under um, COM and LPT ports, you can see that the Arduino Due is on COM4. So you can open up um, any sort of shell. I've got PuTTY here, you can use others like Secure CRT, whatever, um, as long as you'll do a serial connection. Um, we're going to change this from COM1, which is the default, to COM4. We launch it, um, which you can see here. I'll open this up. Um, through PuTTY, we've got CPM 2.2 Emulator by Marcelo Dantes, um, and it's run CPM version 2.8. Um, it's CPM 2.2 is the, the version it's emulating, and we're sort of inhabiting 64 kilobytes of, um, of memory within the DUE, which is not the full amount, um, but enough for here. So we're, we're here at the A drive prompt, and if you're not familiar with CPM, you know, some of the very basic DOS um, commands are, um, are accessible, um, even in CPM. So you've got the typical 8.3 naming convention, ASM files are assembly language, BAS would be basic files. Um, like I said before, we're going to launch Star Trek, and I've got Microsoft Basic on here, so I'm going to type mbasic. Star Trek.bas and um, it will load it. Now remember, I said um, all of these files are on that 16 gig micro SD card. Um, uh, so this emulator is not the fastest in the world, but you know, the original machine wouldn't have been fast either. So this is launching um, Microsoft Basic um, CPM version, and uh, you can see that. This is supposed to be the effect of the Enterprise flying across the screen with my sort of expanded putty view and all these lines. It doesn't quite have the effect that, um, that it was probably intended to have on the original hardware. So your orders are as follows. Destroy the 19 Klingon warships. So if you haven't seen this before, um, uh, this is kind of how you play it. What you have here is sort of a short range scan of the area. Um, e would be enterprise. Um, the asterisks are stars. And you've got sort of some, some informational um, uh, stuff there on the right. Um, the date, the quadrant, how many torpedoes you have, energy, Klingons, etc. So you've got a menu, if you type in help, these are essentially the functions you can do within the game. You can navigate, run short range and long range scans. 
um, fire phasers, etc. So if we do a long range scan, LRS, um, we can kind of see that we're, we're in quadrant eight because um, that's sort of in the middle. If we do a short range scan, that'll give us sort of the view. So we're right next to a star. So um, maybe what we can do is navigate. We will navigate downward and this is sort of um, zero to nine. So uh, it kind of, um, it's your keypad. So to go down on the keypad is number two. And then warp factor, we're just gonna do warp factor one. So now um, we are in a different quadrant. There are no enemies here. Let's um, navigate. Let's go to again, warp factor one. Uh, we are in the Sirius three quadrant, nothing here, no enemies here. So let's um, continue in a V two warp one. So we have Lieutenant Uhura, message from Starfleet Command. Permission to attempt crossing of the galactic perimeter is hereby denied. Shut down to warp engines. So we must be sort of at the edge of the galaxy or something like that. So let's um, let's navigate, and this time we're going to navigate to um, four, which should be to the left side of the screen. All right, series three, let's um, go again. Course four, warp factor one. All right, so now we've encountered some, some enemies here. So it says, um, combat area, condition red, shields dangerously low. So if we look at our shields, our shields are zero. So yes, we definitely need to look at the, um, the shields. Um, shields would be she. Yeah, I can't quite delete characters um, from the command line through putty out to figure out that command. But we say, so we have a certain amount of energy. Let's make, let's make it one thousand why not all right so if we do short range scan again so the Klingons are to our right which would be number six um, so we want to I want to fire torpedoes so TOR course would be six which is immediately to the right torpedo missed what that's not right um, all right, we've been hit by the um, Klingon ship. Our shields are down to 224. So wow, that was a good hit, considering it was at 1,000. Um, they basically tore us up. Um, so I need to add probably another, I need to bring us back up to 1,000. I want another torpedo hit, so T-O-R. Torpedo tube's not operational, great. So. Um, phasers. All right, phasers locked on target. Energy available. I'm gonna fire all my units. Why not? All right. So um, we have destroyed the Klingon. So if we do short range ships, uh, short range scan, you can see that um, nobody is nobody is left. Now our overall energy level is is really hurting um we are down to 1000 and uh, all of that is going to our shields so um i guess if we encounter 18 more klingons we're not going to have a, a enough uh phaser power to destroy them so hope i got enough torpedoes of course i only have nine so i guess i'm dead um, I probably used too much uh, energy when I was firing at the Klingons, but you know, they're the Klingons that are the enemy, you get excited, so that's what happens. Um, so anyway guys, this is um, Arduino Due uh, running CPM. Um, I thought that you guys would get a kick out of it. It's pretty cool to play with some of these um, command lined uh, you know, operating systems, even if it's emulated. Um, I think that's pretty cool. So. Um, yeah, try it out.